Movement is a key process in evolution and essential for many ecological systems. Given the current rapid advances in telemetric technology, it has become feasible to undertake dedicated studies on the simultaneous movement of animals. The R package movement analysis provides functionality to analyze such data using the Brownian bridge movement model. In this video, we demonstrate this by analyzing movement data of several neighboring groups of vervet monkeys. Such an analysis has the potential to generate novel insights into the ecological causes and mechanisms underlying the high degree of within-group cooperation observed in the context of between-group competition typical for many primate species. The dataset used in this video was collected on four groups of wild and free-ranging vervet monkeys. Digital telemetry collars programmed to obtain a GPS coordinate at hourly intervals throughout the animal's daily activity period were deployed on a single adult female within each group. Since groups move as a coherent unit, these data were taken to be representative of the movement of each of the respective groups. We analyze the data in R, a language and environment for statistical computing and graphics. After loading the necessary packages, we can import our dataset. The dataset is stored in a data frame with six fields including a group identifier, date and time and projected coordinates. We can take a look at the spatial distribution of the data using the plot command. Next we need to calculate daily trajectories which are the time stamped movement paths of the animals. Since the movement data only consists of discrete measurements, we need to interpolate between these measurements to obtain movement paths. To do so, we use the Brownian bridge movement model, which assumes random movement between measurements. The Brownian bridge movement model has one parameter, the diffusion coefficient, which is linked to the animal's mobility. The diffusion coefficient is calculated automatically on creation of the trajectory, but can also be calculated by calling the function diffusion coefficient. We calculate the daily trajectories using the function utilization distribution. Next, we convert these to one utilization distribution for each group. So far, we haven't explicitly looked at intergroup interaction. To do so, we compute a list of days and group pairs where encounters may occur. The function encounter duration reports the expected amount of time during which the distance between two groups is below a given threshold. This threshold represents the maximal distance between groups at which they are considered to be engaged in an encounter. Based on local visibility in the field and the observed behavior of animals, we set this threshold to 100 meters. The expected encounter durations are reported for the Brownian bridge movement model, but also for the linear movement model, which linearly interpolates between measurements. We only keep days with significant encounter times and plot those encounter times in a bar chart. We can also convert the daily encounter durations to total duration of encounters for each pair of groups. Plotting these durations, we see that there are great differences in the dyadic encounter rates between groups. These differences partially reflect the fact that the home ranges of some groups overlap more in space than those of others. This, however, can only partially account for the observed differences in dyadic encounter rates and durations. Other factors, both social and ecological, need to be considered as the spatial overlap between BD and AK was in the same order of magnitude as between BD and NH, yet the total encounter duration was many times larger for the latter diet. We can also focus on a specific encounter between these groups. For this, we extract the data for the specific day and calculate the encounter probability over the course of the day. We also compute when encounters might occur according to the linear movement model using a function encounter intervals. Similarly to the encounter probabilities, we can also compute the expected distance over the course of the day under the Brownian bridge movement model. The Brownian bridge movement model is frequently used to calculate utilization distributions. The functionality, however, to calculate other movement quantities using the Brownian bridge movement model, as demonstrated in this video, is unique to the movement analysis package. The package is currently further developed to provide features like calculating the spatial distribution of average speed.